Good morning, everyone. First of all, it's an honor to be here this morning, honoring a hero, Sergio Perez. At this time, I'd like to just, I'd like to welcome his family, Sergio Perez, would you please stand? And his family that's here. And just to let you know, we are also celebrating uh, Sergio Perez's birthday. His dad tells me he would have been 22 years old today. Um, oh, I'm 23 years old. Okay. I'd like to uh, recognize all the officers present who have served in the armed forces. Please step forward. If you could step forward, please. We also honor them today and thank them for their service to our country. And I also like to thank American Legion Post 508 for being here with us today. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. And I know that we're all here today because we're trying to we are trying we are honoring our hero Sergio Perez who gave his who gave his life for this country. At this time I'd also like to introduce our dignitaries that are here. Our elected officials, could you please stand? I thank you very much for being here. Stacy Winfield, Precinct Committee Woman. Gilda Orange, Councilwoman, 6th District. Christine Sid, Lake County Councilwoman. Mary Morris Leonard, our City Clerk. And I also would like to bring greetings from Mayor Anthony Copeland, who couldn't be here today. He's out of town um, on business. Okay. At this time, I also want to thank all the department heads, Deputy Chief Verbage, Fire Chief Perez, and all other um, administration that's here. Thank you so much for joining us today. When I see our city clerk, Mary Morris Leonard has arrived. We also have Tia Kali here today. Thank you so much for coming out and joining us. At this time, I ask if we could bow our heads for opening prayer. Well, it gives me great honor to lead us in prayer this uh, afternoon so we could all bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for, for the privilege to come to you in prayer, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who died for our sins, but not just for our sins, but the sins of the whole world. We ask for blessings on the Perez family, Lord. We ask that you watch over them and somehow comfort them, Lord. Lord, we also pray for all our servicemen and women all around the world, Lord, who protect us, our firemen, our police departments. We want to thank them so much, and Lord, we thank them in your name. Also, Lord, we, we just ask and thank you for this beautiful day today, Lord, for such a special occasion here. We thank you for the weather, Lord. Lord, we ask that you ask that you uh, lay hands and blessings on each and every person that's here, Lord, that somehow you may draw them to you, Lord. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I also would like to recognize State Representative Earl Harris, his wife, Mrs. Harris, who is here representing our state representative. Thank you so much for coming. And now we have a selection from Paula Maldonado who will be singing our national anthem. If we can all please rise. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hate at the dawn Let's believe me, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rainbow we watch were so gallantly streaming. Yeah. <laughs> 
Paulo. That was lovely. On July 22, 2013, the East, Common, the East Chicago Common Council came together to pass a resolution honoring specialist Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez was born on May 10, 1991, graduated from Lake Central High School. He is the son of Sergio Perez and Veronica Orozco. He was a member of the Indiana National Guard 713 Engineer Company and made the ultimate sacrifice to protect others in the line of duty. So whereas it is, the, it is with honor that the Common Council acknowledge and recognize Sergio Perez as a hero who will always be remembered in our community. At this time, I'm going to ask Sergio's father um, to come forward to say a few words. I believe he might be saying them in Spanish, but we'll translate them for him. He wanted me to translate. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for everybody to show up. And um, really feels, feels good about to see everybody like a family. It's been like an honor for me to have uh, my son's name on the street, right at this corner. So everybody, especially the kids, be able to see that sign and memory, a nice memory for them, for us to... Um, that's all I got to say. Thank you, everybody. Before we hear from other speakers who spent a lot of time with Sergio, I'd like to ask Precinct Committee woman Stacy Winfield, who hosted an event in Sunnyside Park, to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Councilwoman Vasquez. Giving honor to God who's ahead of my life and many of our lives out today. On behalf of Mr. Perez, on behalf of Sergio Perez Jr., it was our honor two years ago to honor Sergio in Sunnyside Park at a back to school event. Each year we honor someone ahead that has done great things in our community. And we know that Sergio fought for our country and he gave his life for us all. On behalf of the residents of Sunnyside, we just like to commend the family once again. Uh, I don't know if this is the grandmother that I was speaking, sitting next to, that was shedding tears. On that day, we shed tears in the park as we released the balloons. As she shed tears next to me, she bring tears to my eyes once again. So I say to Ms. Vasquez, thank you and the Common Council for making this day a special event for the Perez family. I'm sure they appreciate you and everything that you've done to make this event a complete day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stacy. At this time, I would like to ask Colleen Aguirre. She is the president of the Support Our Service members who three times a year, I believe, send packages to our soldiers um, across the world. So I'd like to have her come up and just say a few words. You couldn't ask for a more dedicated person, organization, that puts smiles on our soldiers' faces while they're away from home. Okay. All right. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Hi, I'm glad to be here today, and we do support our service members. I brought some flyers along of what we've done. We send packages out three times a year, mainly. Christmas, we send out individual packages because, believe it or not, some of the kids don't get anything from home. Uh, we send out candy and coffee for Valentine's Day. We send out all the summer products, sunblock, everything else that they need uh, for the summer packing. We're in the process of doing that. And now we're going to be sending out freeze pops, boxes and boxes of it. And believe me, they love it. But you know what they love more than anything else that we send? They love the cards from the kids. 
They're, they're just fantastic. They, the kids write from their hearts. East Chicago has always been very active in it. Highland, all of Lake County, all of the region rats up here have participated in it. And the cards, we put 10, 20 in a package, and we get thank you uh, messages on, uh, by email. But the first and last thing they talk about are the cards from the kids. One day I was in a restaurant, Petro's restaurant, they support us too. They support us big time. They have the pictures, they have a jar there. And a man came up to me and he said, are you Colleen? I said, yes. He said, you sent me packages when I was in Iraq and packages when I was in uh, Afghanistan. He said, but the most, the best one I've, I ever got, I've got a frame and it's in my office and I wanted to show it. We get all kinds of things from the people of Lake County, so I appreciate it and I've always appreciated East Chicago. Every year when we have our dinner, we present a flag that has been given to the organization that's flown in Afghanistan or Iraq, wherever they're happy, wherever they happen to be. And this year, East Chicago is getting it. It's a beautiful, beautiful flag. It's in a beautiful case, a handmade case. And it's going to the city of East Chicago and, and all of those that have helped. So thank you for having this and thank you for serving. And if you know of anybody over there, if you just get us their APO address, we will send them packages too any time of the year as soon as we get their names. We have an agreement with the military. We share no names. Nobody gets to know where we're sending them to. People get angry with me when they call. Can I have a name? No. But you can come in and pack with us and you can put a letter in there. If they want to communicate with you, they will. But anyway, thank you for having this and thank you for recognizing our troops. God bless our troops because if it wasn't for our troops, we wouldn't have America. Thank you. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Colleen. At this time, I'd like to um, call up a gentleman who spent quite a bit of time with Sergio. Um, actually, he was his roommate when he was um, serving. I'll let him introduce himself. Hello. Um, most of the Perez family knows me. I'm Specialist Voorhees. Uh, I spent a lot of time with Perez. Uh, he was my roommate for eight months. A lot of missions with him. We went outside the wire with him a lot of times. Uh, he put his life in my hands and I put my life in his hands um, plenty of times. Uh, I, I won't send you guys away with no sad story or anything because that's that's not who Perez was. He, he was a man of joy. He, he always he always made me laugh any time that I was having a bad day, any time that I was having a horrible day. So I'll send you guys away with a, a good story. And it has to do with this little man right here in front of me. On January 13, 2012, we were deployed in southern Afghanistan, Kandahar. And we are sitting in our shoes. And my wife was nine months pregnant. And every 10 minutes, Sergio would come into the room and he'd go, is he here yet? Is he here yet? Yeah. No, not yet, Sergio. And he'd go, come on, is he here yet? No, he'd come back 10 minutes later and he'd go, is he here yet? He's like, nah, not yet. I'm still waiting. And he got to be about the point of, uh, over there is about 3.30 our time. And it was about six o'clock in the morning over here. And finally he came in there along with uh, a couple other members of our team and uh, Specialist Bogats and Specialist Taylor and uh, Specialist Hollard. And they were all, is he here yet? Is he here yet? And I go, he just arrived. Baby boy, eight pounds, four ounces. 21 and a quarter inches long and I think that was I think that was the only time that me and him ever shed a tear but it wasn't a tear of sadness it was a tear of joy and he let me know that no matter what I'd get home to my family And I promised him the same thing. <clears throat> but on that July morning, 
I couldn't. I, I, I tried everything. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning as we went through the village and we cleared the village and I, I tried my best and they had us. And we, we gave him what we had though. So don't think that he went down without a fight. That wasn't the man he was. He, he gave him a fight. And every time I look in my little boy's eyes, I always see Sergio. His little blue eyes look at me up, up look at me all the time and I look at him and I, and I see Sergio. Because I know without Sergio, those eight months of going outside the wire, those endless weeks and those endless missions that we thought we'd never get through. And he always brought me through the wire. We'd always get in the wire, we'd put our stuff down, we'd go to chow, and we'd hang out, we'd watch movies. He'd ask me how the family's doing, I'd ask him how his family's doing, but I just want to let the Perez family know and all the rest of them, his friends and his family know that uh, you raised a good man and one hell of a fucking soldier. Excuse my language, but he, he was the best soldier I've ever seen. Best with his rifle and the best with any gun that you put in his hand. Before we ask the Post 508 to um, honor us, um, um, Sergio's mom is here, Veronica. Could you please? Come? I just want to know if you would like to say a few words. Okay, I under, we understand. We're, we're, we're honored to be here with you and your family today. And as you can see, the community came out to support. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, at this time, at this time, we would like to present the honorary street sign for Sergio E. Perez. Uh, to be presented to the family. This time we would like to ask Post 508 to do the honors.
At this time, we'll have a final selection from Paula Maldonado. And for those of you that are holding balloons, when you feel it in your heart, please release the balloons, okay? And after that, we will end the program with a closing prayer. for this opportunity that you have given us to honor father a wonderful soldier we thank you father god for all these men and women and children that came out father lord we ask that you will be with us father god that your peace that surpasses all understanding will guide us on a day-to-day -day basis in your mighty and precious name we thank you and we praise you amen Okay, that concludes our ceremony. We want to thank everybody for being here today and helping us honor a hero. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, listen, before we leave, somebody give somebody a handshake or a hug. Say, I'm glad you're here.